So this is an example to help you with the assignment today. This is not the assignment from today. This is the bottom of yesterday's notes. So if you look at the bottom of the sheet you got yesterday, you can see that the dates say November over here. And the APR is 16%, so make sure you're on the same problem. If you haven't already filled out the calendar dates, 1 through 30 up in the corner, go ahead and do that. And you can pause the video anytime and go back. So the first thing you do is say, how did the month start? I came into the month with a $250 balance. And it stayed that way until November 4th when I bought something. So that means that on the 1st, you go to bed at night with a $250 balance. On the 2nd, you went to bed with a $250 balance. And the same thing on the 3rd. But on the 4th, you added to that. You bought more stuff on your credit card, and you added $15 to that, which means you now have a $265 balance. And that stays that way up until the 7th. So the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th, you continue to have a $265 balance until the 7th, when you buy something for 25 more dollars. At that point, you have 265 plus 25, which is 290. And that stays the same through the 11th because on the 12th, you bought something for $100. Now you're up to $390. And that stays the same all the way through the 19th because on the 20th you buy something for $150. So you add 150 and now you're at $540 on the 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd because on the 23rd you swipe the card again and charged five dollars but just for one day so you have 545 because the very next day you bought something for two thousand dollars so now you have two thousand five hundred and forty five dollars and the very next day three in a row here you buy something for only three dollars so you add three to that, and now you have 2548, and that takes you to the end of the month. You don't do any other charging on your credit card. So balance stays 2548 until the end of the month. Okay, so now that you know you have a calendar with a balance attached to every single day of the month, you now have to find the average daily balance, meaning sometimes it was 250, sometimes it was 2548, but what was the average balance when you consider all the different balances throughout the month? So the long way of doing this would be to add up every single day and get some giant total all the way through the whole month and then divide by 30. And you can do that. If you want to grab a calculator and do that, you can. You might make a mistake. So I think, because we know how to use spreadsheets, that this would be better open up a blank spreadsheet just to borrow for a minute and use the features of average and type in the 30 balances. So the first day was 250, 250, 250. And I'm looking at my calendar when I'm doing this. If you take this out of the way, you can see that I'm just copying them right off of the calendar. And then it was 265 three more times and I'll jump to the end after I type them all in okay so I jumped ahead to where I typed in all of the balances for the 30 days which match the 30 days from your calendar right there and then all you need to do is go to the cell behind it or at the bottom of it and type in equals average open parenthesis and then just highlight all the data highlight from here to the top and apparently the average is eight hundred and seventy dollars and forty three cents 
$870.43. So $870.43. Now you divide the average, or I'm sorry, the annual percentage rate by 12 to get the monthly rate. The annual percentage rate is 16%. So that's really 0.16 divided by 12. Because 16% is really 0.16 divided by 12. So you can go to any calculator and type in 0.16 divided by 12. And that gives you a monthly rate of 0.013 repeating. That's plenty of threes for now. So 0 0.01333 is good enough. And your final step is to take your average daily balance of $873.43 and multiply by 0 0.01333. And that's the finance charge. Which in this case turns out to be $11.61 for a finance charge. So you're going to model today's two problems right off of this example.